This video is going to talk about power and how power relates to work. Let's just remember what work is real quick. Work, remember, it requires a distance and a force, and they have to be doing in the same direction. So if I do the same work, it takes me one minute to walk up a flight of stairs or one day to walk up the flight of stairs. It's the same amount of work. It doesn't really matter because work has nothing to do with time. So if it takes me forever here to pound a nail into a wood, or using this nail gun to pound a nail into wood, it doesn't really matter about the work. The work is the same. We're still exerting the same amount of force on that nail to move at the same distance. Uh, but there is a very big difference between doing it with a hammer and with a nail gun, and that difference is power. Power is going to bring in that factor of time. So power is going to be the amount of work done on an object in a unit of time. So you can think of power in different ways. Um, objects that have more power than others do the same amount of work in this uh, do the same amount of work on an object just in a different amount of time. So here we have two cars. We have your Honda Civic, which has a V4 engine. It can get you from point A to point B, and that's all that really matters in a car. Or you could get your Jaguar over here, which for some reason has a V12, um, which is just way too much car, but you know, some people like it. It can get you from point A to point B as well. The only difference is that your V12 can do that a lot faster, and therefore it has more power behind it. They both get the job done, they both do the same amount of work, it's just that your Jaguar with a V12 does it a lot faster. So it has more power. To calculate power, again, we're just going to take that unit of work and we're going to divide it by time. Get that time unit in there. So work divided by time is going to be power. Power is going to be measured in joules per second because work is measured in joules and time is measured in seconds and power is just work divided by time. So it's going to be joules divided by seconds. We're going to call this a watt. Um, watt is our unit of power. The U.S. system or the empirical system does not use watts. It uses what's called horsepower. Um, so it's not an SI unit, but you can think of that 746 watts is equal to one horsepower. So whenever you hear the term horsepower, very commonly related in cars, that's how much uh, work that engine is doing in a given amount of time. So power is pretty simple. Just remember work divided by time.